it up, we're back, I'm Emma. I'm Sarah. And we're back with Summerlin Bobcast Announcements. I will start with the menu for the week. For today's lunch is a corn dog, curly fries, and fruit and veggie bar. Tomorrow's breakfast is long dogs, and tomorrow's lunch is pizza, green beans, fruit and veggie bar, and a cookie. For Monday's breakfast, we have Bosco Sticks. Monday's lunch is, there's actually no lunch served. There's a 12 o'clock dismissal. For Tuesday, there's a breakfast sandwich, and Tuesday's lunch is pulled pork sandwich, smile fries, and fruit and veggie bar. If you or someone you know is struggling or in crisis, help is available. Call or text 98 chat the 98 lifeline at or 3 to 98 suicide and crisis lifeline. There are no Bobcat Academy meetings. Thursday, girls' MEC game, there will be a whiteout. Come ready to cheer the Bobcats on to victory in their first conference game. Friendly reminder for any after school events, please read through your Summerlin Bobcat spectator responsibilities. Seniors, please get your photos to Mrs. Funk. Thank you. Daily quotes Sometimes it is a people who no one imagines anything of who do the things that no one can imagine by Alan Turing. Elementary, please read through your Summerlin Bobcat spectator responsibilities too, please and thank you. Uh, sports and activities. All live stream links are in the announcements. Sports and activities this week. Today, Thursday, February 2nd, there's an NBC Girls Basketball at St. Mary's. Um, Summerlin versus Elkhorn Valley at 7.30. There's a whiteout tonight for all, everyone who comes to watch. Um, Friday, tomorrow, there's NBC Basketball semifinals at Elkhorn Valley. Uh, boys for uh, Summerlin versus Elkhorn Valley at 7.30. District Girls Wrestling at Madison at 3. And also Wayne State College Honor Choir. Saturday, there's NBC Finals at Nairera. District Girls Wrestling Finals at Madison at 10. Speech at West Hope. Standard Junior High Band and Choir Festival. And Boys Wrestling Invite <coughs> at Wakefield at 9.30. No live stream for that. Monday, there's a 12 o'clock dismissal for parent-teacher conferences. Tuesday, there's nothing. Wednesday, there's Donuts with Thaz at 7.45, uh, pre-K in the morning uh, and 6th grade. And then there's Donuts with Thaz at 2.30 to 3.45 with pre-K in the afternoon. Uh, Thursday, there's high school basketball at Summerlin versus EVPJ, uh, junior varsity girls at 4.30, junior varsity boys at 4.30, Girls Varsity at 6 and Boys Varsity at 7.30. Friday, there's high school basketball at Lutheran High Northeast at 4.30 with JV girls and boys. Four times eight minute quarters and girls in the main gym and boys in the back gym. There's Girls Varsity at 6 and Boys Varsity at 7.30. And also Boys Wrestling Districts at Pender. Saturday, there's Boys Wrestling Districts at Pender and Speech at Wassa. Also Girls Basketball Tourney at O'Neill at 10.15 and the Sweetheart Dance at 8.30. Sports for next week. Monday, February 13th, there's at 9.30, there's a KTCH Quiz Bowl. Tuesday, there's Girls Basketball Subdistricts. Wednesday, the 15th, there's no school. NBC Speech at Summerland and a 6.30 school board meeting. Thursday, there's State Wrestling at Omaha, Girls Subdistricts, Dance Cats State Dance Trip. Friday, February 17th, there's State Wrestling at Omaha, no school. Speech at Creighton, High School Basketball at Summerland Girls and varsity hold up. Saturday there's state wrestling at Omaha. <laughs> and there's also National FFA week begins. That's it for Summer Podcast announcements. Make sure to stay tuned for Over the Wall with Michael, Sam, Dylan and Alec and Owen's podcast with Chase. We're We're back. Back. Okay. Hello me <laughs> Dylan Harlow what? Over the Wall. Who I have here Sam. Guys, why are we so scrunched today? I have here Mike. Alec. I'm your host today, my co host Michael. We have the mics. Okay. We're going to be talking over some why are you talking so C2 <laughs> rankings, some games. We're, we're really going to be talking about, about NBC today. A little bit of NBC action going on right now. Uh, we're filming this Monday, the day the, the, uh, day the games got rescheduled to. Monday, January 30th. Yeah, we're chilling today. Chilling, like a villain. Today, uh, right now, we're as we're filming, you know, Boyd County and North Central? Yeah. North Central are playing at Elgin, 24-21 and a half. Pretty sure Boyd County's up, but we don't know. We can't tell. Yes, Boyd County's up. Okay, Boyd County is up, and uh, we're just going to talk about NBC today. What's your guys' prediction on that? Uh, on this game? Just any predictions in NBC. Uh, Bold statements. Um, uh, right now, I think 
Boyd kind of should win this. Yeah. Honestly, if you talk about like skill base, I think. Yeah, I mean, I think North Central could come out. I think they could, but I definitely think that Boyd County has it now, or like they should. Boyd County's up by three at coming out of half. Right? I think based like based off at like coaching, Boyd County has a better coach. Yeah. I'm just not a fan of Boyd County's coach. He's a good coach. He's a good coach. He's a good coach. He's a good coach. Can't say something that's gonna make us look like. I said I'm just not a fan of him. Um, I think also tonight's game against St. Mary's and Chambers, not. obviously that's, that's St. Game. Mary's. Winner, uh, we'll be facing. So best of luck to both teams. Go Bobcats. Just remember all in the end. Go Bobcats. Yes, sir. Famous quote by the... Not sounding cocky, but, you know. Yeah, because we're, we're a bench right show. It doesn't matter. I'm still a Bobcat. We're still Bobcats. Exactly. We're a big team. We're a team. Exactly. We're going to obviously believe in ourselves every night. <laughs> uh, Sam, what are you thinking for MVC predictions, like, generally? Who are we thinking, who are we thinking was going to win it? Um, I can't say that. I don't never know. know. You never know. Because we could lose first round. Yep. A lot second of round, technically. Second round, yeah. Yeah, you know. there's... MVC this year is wide open. All the teams are good in MVC. Yeah. yeah. Um, should we talk right hands? Yeah, let's talk rankings today. <clears throat> Turn, um, should we just put ourselves first? Talk about ourselves first. Currently, there is no, there's only one undefeated team in C two. Yeah. Donathan Trumbull. He's and they're only they're actually ranked third with forty nine power points. Forty six. Forty six power points. I can't see that. Yeah. And Hardington's here to Catholic, thirteen and three is ranked above them with forty six point oh eight. And Freeman is at the top, seventeen and one, with forty six point three. So yeah. Um, Summerlin's currently sitting at eleventh. Summerlin is forty three yep. power points. Yep, Summerlin currently eleventh. So really, only three, pretty much. Yeah, we're, we're, we're three power points. Four Catholics up there, eleven no, yeah. and four. Oakland Valley, Valley's up there, fifteen and one. Oakland Valley's a solid team this year. Amherst is fifteen and one. Yeah, I don't really know anything about the top four. Wisner Pil- Pil- I don't know anything about Ponca. Freeman. I barely anything. I didn't know Ponca was like that. Where's Ponca Where's at? Ponca? Second one from the bottom. That's like twentieth. Yeah, that I mean, but still, still. top twenty. How how many teams do you think there are? Yeah, there's quite a. Oh bit. wow, there's a lot of teams. Who's last? Homer. Um, Homer. Homer. One in sixteen. Tough year for them. Rebuilding year. There. <laughs> They'll be up there next year. I promise. Twin River. Osmond Randolph is Stanton. Like, way down. Five and eleven, Tri County Northeast. Osmond Randolph's in our sub district, so it's Plainview. Yeah, so is Peville. Um. Um. Well, looking at the middle Hull, of it, what's that? Hull. Nine and seven. Westfield's solid though. Yeah. They've been. They're way better than their record. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh, yeah. yeah. What are the games Madison, going on? There's Madison. Right I don't know what's going on. Like Westfield hasn't been doing great. Like. They just recently. Really schedule. I mean, they have a really hard schedule. Really hard schedule, but like I'm just saying. I mean, I haven't watched LCC. Games, so all, I think, Where? Thirteen and five. Laurel. Laurel has Pumpkin. a really tough schedule. Fast. Laurel does. Yeah, yeah, Laurel. Laurel has a tough schedule. Thirteen and five though. It's a tough schedule. Pretty That's good. still pretty good. Lutheran High is up Wait, there. Wait, North Central. 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 Oh, Oakland oh, Valley, West Hole. Gordon Rushville. They're ten and three, and they're ahead of us. Dang. Who? Well, yeah. Gordon Rushville, I think. Yeah. yeah. It just it just I depends on PowerPoints who you yeah. play. Yeah. I don't know anything about them, but. So what's like, Cross County looking like this year? Anybody yeah. else? No. They solid. I'm guessing until so they're fifteen and three. No. Yeah, they are fifteen and three. They must have a pretty decent schedule on them. Wakefield must be good. They've got both of those Johnsons on it. Yeah. Yeah. Kale Wakefield and Cade is it? Kale. Oh, by the way. North Central scored to bring it 24-23. Yeah, North Central did score, putting on the pressure a little bit. I don't even know what, why we're telling this. It's not like it's live. Yeah, but we're going to act like it's live. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, I'm with Murdoch. Uh, isn't that the team Ewing played in the State Volleyball Championship that one year? Yep, awesome. Yeah, they oh, lost yeah, both years. Mm-hmm. I remember that. Good Wait, time, was it huh? a draft? Like, they had like a draft, like... No, they had a big girl. They just had yeah, I know. Oh, oh, was um, at the end of their bench. They had a giraffe. 
What like was that about? A giraffe? Yeah, like a giraffe. Like, or like obviously a stuffed animal. Like, it stood like seven foot tall, it was just on there, chilling on the end of their bed. I don't know. They had like ten um, medals on it from like state championship. I don't remember that. I, I that's all I remember from that game. It was probably a mascot. But I don't mascot. They weren't even giraffes. Yeah, that's, I just don't know. Who were they? Uh, I don't even know. We don't have the keyboard, so I can't look it up. Click on their name, maybe. How can you focus on this game? I know this game is really entertaining. <laughs> I'm just silent talking right now. Look at D1. What's D1 looking like? I think D1 solid this mm-hmm. year. Right. Maywood Hay Center, they're always out there. Elm Creek, North Platte St. Pat's, Howes Dodge. Where's EPJ? EPJ, 12 and 5. 11. Yeah. EPJ, 12 and 5, they're solid. Maywood Hay Center is 18 and 0. Howes Dodge. Howes Dodge is up there, I already said that. Oh, Leighton. The Holy Family is actually, I mean, Ainsworth is 5 and 9. Leighton is up there, 17 and 0. Ainsworth has. They lost the boy camp. Ainsworth. Really? Ainsworth, uh, Cardinal Sons out. Ainsworth has one D2 team on their schedule and like three D1 teams, and then the rest are C2 and C1 with a B. Really? If you have a D1 team? They have a stack schedule. Or C2. They used to be C2. Yeah, I thought they they were a bigger school, I guess, but... Yeah. Ainsworth, not really. I mean... What were they in football? They were probably thinking Valentine's. They were D in football. They were in football. I think in Valentine's. Valentine's is huge. Valentine's really big. Let's go down to D2. Santee is at the top of D2, 9-1. Parkview Christian, 15-3. and three, number four. Great. Parkview Christian is uh, somehow good. They're Creighton, damn good. 11-6, not bad. We lost to Creighton. They're, they're one point uh, they're game. Good. Stewart's not bad. Or Sturt. They're Sturt. Um, Humphrey St. Francis is right there. St. Mary's play them. St. Mary's at 9-6. This is probably top 20, you would say? Top 25? 25 for sure. What's the bottom of it? Wall Hill. I see Wall Hill. The bottom has Palmer, Palmer, Heartland Luzern, and Salma Myrna. Elba. Elba has three wins. Hey, this is the last game. That was one game that we were guaranteed to win. Yeah. In New England. Well, it's because all the good kids leave for Grand Island. Yeah. That's true. That's, I don't even know where I was at. Elba's like three hours away. It's, it's in so the far. middle. It's BFE. Dang. You see that? What's the bottom of D1 look like? Bottom of D1. We're chilling down here. Cedar Bluff, Snarber, Verdigree. Should we go Class A back to this? Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, go up to Class A. Southwest, the Burwell's down there. Central Valley. I've never heard Lincoln heard. South, Southeast. Or, yeah, Southeast is... Bellevue West is rated first in Class A, and I think they're rated top yep. 25 in the country. They're number 16 in the country. I think they're number 16 in the nation. They're Did you see the top two teams? Josiah Both from New Dosler. Jersey. They're really? from New Jersey? Both two teams are from New yeah. Jersey. Uh, Gretna's up there per usual. Know. Millard North is up there per usual, and Creighton Prep is up there. Lincoln East and Lincoln Higher. Yeah, yeah Lincoln, Lincoln East, East, Lincoln Higher, always up there. Lincoln North, North Star. Star. Is North Star your same there? Or is there's it, a lot of Lincoln Lincoln Star hasn't been up there since Donovan Williams. No, usually there's Lincoln Pius. Is that Donovan? Lincoln Pius at ten. Their girls are usually pretty good. This yeah. it's usually always it's usually all Omaha teams. Really? Yeah. Not really. Usually, yeah, there's not many Lincoln teams. But usually, but there's a lot of Lincoln teams. There's um, up there this year, yeah. And then you go down here and you have Kearney, Lincoln Southwest, Omaha Central, Midwest, Lincoln Omaha East. West Side. Yeah. Um, Omaha West Side at ten and six yeah. at the bottom of Class A. Omaha Buena Vista, Omaha South, Omaha Northwest, North a Fork. lot of Omaha. Teams oh yeah, North Fork. Bottom. North Fork High thirteen, three and thirteen, struggling this year. Fremont three and thirteen, Omaha Burke five and thirteen. It would Bellevue East. I wonder why Bellevue East isn't as good as Bell West. Yeah, I don't honestly think. I don't think it's probably a transfer. Chucky. Chucky has a big thing to do with that, huh? Okay, I haven't heard much of Chucky this year. Like, is he? He's a top ten player in the Big Ten. Well, he's, he's gonna be all team. Well, he's gonna be all first team defense. He was projected to be, just like the best player in Big That's Ten. A, he was like number one freshman. That Purdue center, center, center came in. Not just the Purdue center. What's the dude from Indiana? Chucky. Uh, Jackson. Jackson Hayes something. Dude, 
That kid's he's insane. Good. He is good. He put up a triple double on Nebraska. I mean, it's not the same much, but but no, he's. I think he's the second best player in the Big Ten. Uh, from Indiana. You think he's the second best player in the Big Ten? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Or, uh, I disagree. Arkansas got some good players today. SEC. I know different conference. I know. I'm just Come on. I feel, I feel like Class B and Class C one are like the two like weird conferences. Wait, really? Eight, seven. I know. Like, like if no. you're not, because if you're not in C two, usually you're in D one or D two, and if you're not in A, can we go? You're in B. Can we go? So can like we look at C one? I want to look at B. I, right? no, I know. Like I know. O'Neal, O'Neal's in C one, aren't they? Yeah, mm-hmm. O'Neal is in C one. Wahoo is leading C one at a fifteen and one, and then Ashley Greenwood. Shout O'Neal. out Justin Appleby. Shout out Justin Appleby. O'Neal is 12 and 3 in there. Really? He's just behind Wayne. I didn't, is he a head coach actually, of the boys? Ooh, Justin Appleby? Yeah. No, he's assistant coach at Legend Greenwood. Huh. I think he, is he a volunteer or is he a listed as assistant? I don't know what it is. Where is that? That's not Actually, Greenwood, I think, is down by like it's Central um, City. It's down almost like Omaha. I thought it was like south of Omaha, like by Central City. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's okay. Yeah, O'Neal's sitting at 12 and 3. Wayne's fourteen of five. Anybody else in C one? It's like C hey, ten. Boys down, boys down. Who who tried to tell me Norfolk Catholic was in C one? I don't know. Because it had it, it had them listed at C one. They should be C one. They should. yeah. Because I'll I tell you right now: Hard against either Catholic, Norfolk Catholic, any Catholics you see up here should be C one. Yeah. Realistically, same Norfolk same Catholic should same area should be higher than they are. Say, uh, yeah. Same Norfolk class. Catholic is close to class B, ain't they? For like, if Norfolk is just just Norfolk Cedar class A, Cedar Catholic Norfolk has Catholic. to be C. Because I think Norfolk is. I mean, it's probably not as big because Catholic's more expensive, but they probably have a lot of. Catholic. L L and H E must not be very big. No, Lutheran was. has never been big though. They're public. No, they're not. They're Lutheran. Oh yeah. Um, I don't know why Cedar Catholic is C two. To me, yeah, it's Harding and Cedar Catholic kind of. I guess it is. I guess do what you gotta do to win a state chip. (laughs) But if you think about it, it's always been like that. It's not just recently. A good example is St. Mary's and Parkview Christian last year. Yeah, Parkview Christian especially. Yeah, Parkview Christian should definitely be like C2. But for our sakes, let's help them. Because they're actually a pretty good team. Yeah, they are. I don't think they're good this year. Probably not because... They're not as good as they were last year. Yeah, Parkview, uh, Parkview Christian beat Windside seventy six to five. And Windside, oh no. my God. And Windside beat Wausau. I Windside beat Wausau. It's not Windside. Some team from Iowa. Oh, never mind. Correction, guys. That is not Windside. Is a team from Iowa. Yeah, Windside won state champs football. It, no, what's what team was that? Parkview Christian won D two six. Westside. West for for football. Omaha Westside. Thank you. Yeah, because yeah, they have that really that's it for the podcast. Yeah, we're chilling. That's that's it for the podcast today. Sorry, Sound it's a bit random. boring, but you know it's a, a boring, boring Monday. So it's a boring Monday. Easy Monday. Peace out. Welcome to the Summerlin Podcast. I'm Owen Jeffords. I'm here today with Chase Fletcher. Today we're gonna be doing some comic book trivia. Number one question for Chase: uh, What superhero was born with the curse of Cordax? That was obviously Ghost Rider. That is wrong. I'm gonna steal. It was Hawkman. I'm gonna steal. It's actually Aquaman. Woo! You know what? We don't. What supervillain was created when Emil Blonsky exposes accidentally exposed himself to a concentrated burst of gamma rays? This one's actually really easy. I don't know. If Shoot. I'm going to go with Abomination. Yup, I was right. Boom. Let's see. Let's see. What Chester Gold, Gold character made his first appearance in the Detroit Free Press on October 4th, 1931? Flash Gordon. Wrong. Pretty sure it was Superman. Okay, I'm gonna go with uh, Dick Tracy. Woo! Dang. Yup. I.
What superhero grew up on the planet Tamaran? Tamaran. I'm going to go with Silver Surfer. Starfire. God to you character. Fire character too, just like you know, Raven too, you know. Edwin Jarvis serves as a butler to what super team? Um Avengers. Yo. Tony Stark. I'm just gonna remember what it's from. So I don't watch much like Marvel or anything like that. Which of the oh sorry. You don't even playing Mario currently. Which of these following, which of the which of these superheroines was inhabit inha, inhabited by the soul of a of the of an ancient Egyptian princess after attempting death? It was Black Canary. Dude. What? It was literally Wonder Woman. No. Oh, it was Huntress. Frick. Well, my next guess would have been Hot Girl, so I win. No, I clicked on something else. All right. Uh, who's, who's the first costume superhero? I know this one too. Oh, you're really close. It's Crimson Avenger. Dude, it's actually Arrow. Was it the Phantom? Oh. Yeah. Who was Elvis Presley's favorite, favorite superhero? superhero. Mm. I'm gonna have to go with Silver Surfer. Wrong. It was Batman. Wrong. It was Captain Marvel Jr. I can read the last plot. That's right. What year was the first modern comic book printed? 1938. 1933. Dang. Hey, I have my points up. You haven't been adding my points, bro. I won the Captain Marvel Jr. one, too. This dude. Oh my god, bro. Who is Luke Cage's best friend and longtime partner in crime fighting? Um. Wait, Luke Cage. Iron Fist. Dang. Okay, go to the next question. Are we on page two? What, ha what super team includes a sentient tree like creature? It's Guardians of the Galaxy. That was way too easy. Yeah. Which super hero? Or gained his powers after being exposed to the orb of Ra. Oh my god, why do I not know this? Uh, Doctor Who, no. Metamorpho. Okay. <sighs> this is my yours. So yeah, you read it. Chala the King of Wakanda is also known as what superhero? Black Panther. What building served as the original headquarters for the Fantastic Four? Building served as. So, just like Mario's gun really intense right now. So, served as the original headquarters for the Fantastic Four. It's kind of obvious. Who are the Fantastic Four even, bro? The Thing? Hmm. Four Freedom Plaza? Wrong. It was the Baxter Building. Yeah, dude. You're, you're a loser, bro. Like, please. Why do you know these? Because I played the Lego games. Yeah, bro. But uh, you ever played uh, Lego, uh, one of the games, uh, The Chase Begins, with the main character being Chase McCain? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I played that. Yeah, yeah. Who's, That's literally me. Who's Scar? Um, that's like, that's like, uh, the son of Wolverine. 
Dang it. I think it's the son of Tarzan. Son of Thor. It's the son of Hulk. Hulk has a kid? No, he's a, I know he has a wife. I didn't know he had anything. Uh, yeah, bro, it's that chick from Fortnite. What? The chick from Fortnite. There's a lot of chicks in Fortnite. Be specific. The She-Hulk. She-Hulk? I don't know oh. what I'm about, guys. He just got fooled. Do you guys see a super cool thing like this? My boy playing Mario in the middle of the broadcast. I watched that. That one goes up. Do your goofy goober right now. Yeah, this one, watch what this does. Oh my gosh, homeboy's goofy. Watch what this does. Oh, it takes you to 5 2. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, I messed it up. No, it was supposed to do that. That's weird. Ah, Let's go. Which of the following heroes is not a member of the magically powered Sentinels of Magic? Um. Remember, Raven has some superpowers. Doctor Strange. Oh, damn, we're just such a loser. Thank you. Which Green Lantern came first? Alan Scott. Um, Dang. I think everybody knows that, of course. Who once served as Tony Stark's personal assistant? Dude, you better get this one. That's your question. Mary Jane Watson. Uh -huh. Yeah. Who is the Scarlet Witch's twin brother? Quicksilver. What character teamed up with a different hero in almost every issue of The Brave and the Bold? Spider-Man! Wrong. Batman. Alright guys, we're gonna change up the trivia. Yeah, you haven't given me points. I definitely won that round 100%. I would've been like 7 now. I'm also like, bye. Thank you all for watching today's.